Uh, Quakers were uh, very, from the start, or very near the start, very concerned with the poor. Now, first of all, it was their own poor. <laughs> and the, the wealthier Quakers took very good care to, uh, to, to, to support the poorer ones amongst them. Uh, and they, this, this really spread very widely uh, and the uh, Quaker communities, if they, wherever they had the ability, became very uh, concerned with the poorer people of all sorts, of uh, whatever religion. And so uh, charity was a, a very central part of things. And that, <laughs> uh, if you ask an average person what they know about Quakers, oh, they did something, they were very good in the, they, they did wonderful things in the famine, and they're very good. So uh, we, we deny the very good, we accept the wonderful things in the famine. Um, the famine support was, was uh, very interesting and were uh, but it was very real. Uh, I think one of the reasons, well, there were two, re two reasons for uh, that the Quakers got, got involved, or maybe three. One, one was their general charitable outlook. And they, had, they had been, okay, they're best known for the, what happened in the Great Famine, but there were plenty of famines before that, and the Quakers were very involved in helping people then. Uh, uh, the... Uh, Great at the Great Famine, uh, there were nothing like enough Quakers to get involved. But because they were neither Protestant nor Catholic, uh, there are heaps of stories in the famine about superism. Apparently, most of those are lay or fiction, <laughs> but but there were certainly went around uh, that the Protestants wouldn't help them famine person unless they'd change it to Protestantism and so on. But uh, then the integrity, the honesty, honest dealings and so on. And what it resulted in was an awful lot of the money coming from other countries was directed to the Quakers because the Quakers established themselves as being a, a very a trustworthy and acceptable organisation. Now, one of the leading lights of that was a very remarkable man, uh, Jonathan Pym, uh, was a Dubliner, and the, the Pym family were uh, um, amazing entrepreneurs. Another uh, close relative was Joshua Pym, who set up Pym's department store, which apparently was the first depart department store in, the, in Ireland, if not wider. Uh, Jonathan Pym was one of the organized, chief organizers of famine relief uh, and he went on to uh, become a member of parliament. Uh, a lot of Quakers would, would not go into parliament because politics, it's very, very difficult to be completely open and to be an effective politician. <laughs> it's, the, it's, and a lot of Quakers, because they felt they, uh, they couldn't, couldn't keep up their personal integrity and be politicians. So many didn't. Quite a few did. Jonathan Pym was truly amazing. Uh, he, um, a leader of uh, famine relief, he then went on and he apparently was one of the principal movers of land reform, the uh, reform of land ownership which had occurred in, in Ireland. Pym, Pym was one of the leaders in that. Uh, and you, you find him doing a very, very busy political life, also running his business. And then you look at the minute books and you find he was up to the teeth in organising Quakers too. <laughs> quite quite ama an amazing person. Um, but, but charity was a big thing. And then uh, the belief, as I mentioned, of in education, and okay, and again, as with the uh, 
with, with charity and helping people on. You started with the fellow Quakers, but if there was any possibility, you looked further and wider. And so Quakers in the Liberties, <coughs> they, they uh, set up, established a free school for poor children and and similar thing, and then the Quakers were behind the establishment of the Liberty Crèche, which apparently was the first crèche in the in the country, and it was developed there to make it to make it possible for uh, mothers to go out and earn money, whereas pre previously they. Uh, they had to stay at home and look after the children because there was nobody else to do it and so they couldn't earn anything. And so the Liberty Crash uh, enabled that and of course was copied right, left and centre. We have volumes and volumes and volumes of records of the Liberty Crash.